Hello, I'm Liz DuPlessis, the Instructional Designer in Distance Education at Santa Rosa Junior College. In this video, our Canvas System Administrator, Liko Puha, shows how to use the Canvas cross-listing tool, which faculty can use to instantly cross-list multiple sections of the same course, undo the cross-list if a course gets canceled, and how to submit a form for special cases. Cross-listing is the process of consolidating two or more courses in Canvas so that multiple sections can be taught from a single parent course shell. Cross-listing is typically for sections of the same course taught by the same instructor, and it should be completed before publishing your Canvas courses so that no student activity is lost. You can instantly cross-list your courses from your SRJC portal, as Lico explains. Well, thanks, Liz. We're really uh, fortunate that we have IT that developed this tool for us and placed it in our portal. So to use this tool, uh, one of the requirements is for cross-listing that you have to have the same course. You can't cross-list different courses. If you have in the past, I recommend that you fill out a form and then I'll be able to fulfill that. And one of the other requirements before you begin cross-listing is determine which is gonna be the parent course because that's where you'll develop your content and all the subsequent courses that you will be cross-listing will just also use that same content from the parent course. So uh, log into your portal as you normally do. There are many ways, but once you get there, you wanna click on faculty. You might have a student's listing in your navigation, but uh, some folks don't. So click on faculty and locate the instructor information portlet. This is like a portal. And right below my Canvas account, here under Canvas Cross-Listing Tool, that's what you want to use, Canvas Cross-Listing Tool. Well, that brings up the terms available for cross-listing. Of course, we're cross-listing now in the fall for spring. So we want to get a listing of our spring courses. And it's just making sure, are you sure you're in the right place? So yes, get the Canvas sections for spring 2018. And we wait. Don't hit back. Don't touch any patients with the virtue depending upon how many courses you have, how many rosters you have, it could take a length of amount of time. So for this uh, instructor, she has two sections that she'd like to cross list, making 5277 the parent and 5278 the child. So in this column, you wanna select parent, and in this, child. Now, if you should ever make a mistake, Liz, you can always deselect by clicking the in the row and it will deselect. So, oh, okay, that's the parent I want. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult if you have multiple courses and you're teaching different courses. So, um, once you determine the parent and the child courses, you're going to click cross those sections. And it's asking you to confirm, are you sure? that this child section 5278 will be cross-listed with the parent 5277. We want to say confirm. If it's not, cancel and review your choices. So while it's going to go do work, depending upon how many courses you have, it should uh, perform rather quickly. What the tool also does for you is something that I used to do manually is rename the course, putting the two sections together. Now, if you have um, a cross-listing with multiple courses, maybe like four or five, that's when you'd wanna contact me and then I can help you uh, rename the course to something more manageable. Well, there it is. The cross-listing is done. <laughs> now, should you, for any reason, one reason I can think of is that if you cross-list early and then say a section unfortunately doesn't, go due to enrollment or for whatever reason, you can uncross list, undo the cross listing called decross list, separating them all again, but none of your content in Canvas will be lost. All it's doing is link, uh, breaking off the link and creating links here. So that's it. If you have any questions, email me at desupport at santarose.edu. And I appreciate the time, Liz. Yes, you're welcome. I mean, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Liko. And a special thanks to Greg Tillis and IT for creating the tool in the portal. If you need to submit a form for special cases, such as different courses that are taught using the same content, 
Go to de.santarosa.edu, select Canvas Request Forms, and the Cross-Listing Form. A link on the form also provides more information about how to use cross-listed courses. Thanks for watching.